My eldest son, Aryan, came to me. He was an invisible entity about this big. He was a little bit of peace and joy. I knew he was dead. I knew he had completed suicide. And I knew where his body was, 28 miles away. And I was such a mess. I didn't know what to do. My relationship with Jesus was very shallow. I'd been away from the church for over 30 years. I had no home church. I wanted to have a funeral for him, a funeral mass, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do it. So step by step, though, I was guided to exactly the right people at exactly the right time. And there I was sitting with, with Father Lang, planning my son's funeral mass and there was sharing and there was crying and in my mind were questions like what, what am I going to do with all of this suffering all of this pain this anger this blame this, this all of these terrible feelings what am I going to do with all this suffering am I going to just let it go can I trust Jesus and just give it up to him and just let it go or am I going to hang on to this and become hard and bitter over time? And so I answered the question. I said, yes, I can give this up. I can trust that something good can come out of all of this suffering. And so I gave it up and felt like there was an opening going on inside of me. And there was a whoosh, an invisible force that came but there really was no sound and the air didn't move and I was really confused and Father said, you just felt the Holy Spirit move, didn't you? And I said, yes, I did. Since then, my relationship with Jesus has become wider and deeper and richer and there is so much more to know and there's so much more to grow. I have had my marriage validated back to the church regularly in mass. I go to reconciliation. I have gone to RCIA and confirmed. I've participated in Alpha. My husband and I pray every day. I belong to a group that sings for the dying as they transition from life to death. In hindsight, I can see that great good can come out of great suffering really hard to see it while you are trusting, while you are walking the path. When things are really good, it's really easy to see. The hard part is when you are suffering, and we are all going to suffer. So I can tell you, good things come if you give it up to Jesus, if you just trust. In hindsight, I see Ari coming to me was a big gift. I got to know that there was divine mercy he is okay. He chose to go with Jesus at the last moment. And I am on the path. And I am not afraid to keep stepping. I am alive. And there will be more suffering because I am alive. And this is just how it goes. And I am looking forward to the day when I am comfortable and I can see Ari and all my other loved